May I have a moment of your time? Today I would briefly like to talk about the, if I'm honest, popular assumption or point of view that adherents of antinatalism, people who support the idea of antinatalism, are just a shower of depressives, a load of immensely sad people who have a distorted perception of reality, have a negative attitude, and therefore not much attention should be paid to us and our point of views, especially antinatalism. Well, you know, I will be the first to admit that the reality here in this world is, when you think about it, depressing. People are suffering, people are dying, people are being abused, people are being tormented all over the world right now. And you know, in many circumstances, there's indeed in most circumstances, and there's nothing we can do about it. Stuff that's going on in private homes, in couples, in schools, children getting abused by adults, by other children. Um, it goes on and on and on. Then we talk about the diseases, etc. The suffering is immense, grotesque, horrific, and it is everywhere. Indeed, there are many poor, ignorant souls out there who don't even understand um, the basics of psychology. They don't understand their own personality disorders, their own actions being negatively affected by their traumatic experiences. And in turn, they might cause negativity towards other people's lives and the circle goes on and 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 I suppose the only people very happy about it are the people writing self-help books and the psychotherapists who make a shed load of money from the ongoing torment and by the way I say that flippantly I'm sorry um, obviously I think it's a very virtuous thing to help people and it is much needed in this world. Um, so yes, I think that when you look at the world, it is depressing and I think that that can well and could and probably will, when you think about it for too great a length, make you depressed. And But does that mean it's wrong? You know... Um, I personally don't think so. Um, death is horrible. To grieve is a natural thing. Romantic breakups are horrible. To lament lost love is, 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 a, is a natural thing. And these are torturous emotions. And to negate them by saying, you know, one is not taking stock of reality properly one is being negative is a ridiculous ridiculous argument let's look at the other side of the coin let's look at all the happy clappy people who say well this world is wonderful it's a brilliant place um it's marvelous we're so lucky to be here you know um, crack, um bring out the wine let's have a party you know let's celebrate this wonderful existence for us and let's all fuck each other and procreate and make new babies to bring into this wonderful wonderful place you know that smacks of delusion and i would argue that that delusion is could arguably be seen as a mental illness as well because it's self centers it's a lack of awareness it's, it's a total total disregard for 
the suffering of others. Total, in some cases, disregard for the seriousness of the situation, the seriousness of your own suffering, the fact that you might pass suffering on to others by just bringing them into this world. If you have not got the cognitive ability to see that, then I think you are disturbed. You are either disturbed intellectually or emotionally. There is something blocking you from seeing reality. And my friend, my friend, that could be called a mental disturbance, a mental illness. You know, psychopathy is one mental illness, mental disturbance. That means people do not have the emotional ability to feel empathy for others. And I would argue that there is a perhaps lesser version of that in every natalist. For they not for they do not think about those poor innocent beings. They are just firing off into this world. Poor innocent beings. The world is a cruel place. Humanity is fucked up. The environment is in turmoil. History has shown again and again we are warmongering. And in often cases, criminal species beset upon taking over other lands, enslaving other people, beset upon oppression, infatuated with greed, money, and, you know, if you think that's wonderful, I feel sorry for you. I really do. I really think that perhaps you should go and see the man with the black leather cap. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I do wish you well.